to make her come because she knows the festival for years. She's been doing uh, the previous shows uh, since um, 2000. So it means, yeah, just 12, 12 years ago she, she appeared for the first time here. So uh, she, a lot of people know her. They're queuing to hug her after the show. <laughs> it's a very really strange thing here. It's different from the other place and from the other festivals. Um, apart from this, from my experience, I had a French show a couple of years ago, and I know that for from my experience again, it was kind of hard to do. Spain, a lot of business. And they, as you know, maybe um, the Patty Free here, which is quite famous. And they work, they used to work like, like this. In, they don't, you, you can't really come in the market directly. You need somebody because of the language and because they don't know you. If you don't come often to Spain, to festivals, the Spanish market is c quite a, a big one. They mm, travel a lot in Spain. They see each other a lot, production professionals. So they know each other very well. Uh, but when you're foreign, when you're coming from other country, you really need to make your pass and come in and sp speak Spanish, <laughs> it's the first thing, because they can speak English sometimes, but it's much more easier to, to, to speak Spanish when uh, you have to deal with them. And for Tarega, Tarega is a, is a big festival. They don't pay a lot. I mean, they pay really, really low. But you have to take it as a promotion festival. And they pay a little bit of the transport cost and and well, the um, accommodation, the, the vouchers, this kind of thing, and technical support. But it's, compared to other festivals where, for, for example, in France, we have Aurillac or Chalon dans la Rue, they provide more things, they pay more, uh, and it's the same condition. Here you have a, a big fair, which is not the same thing that the festival, but they really are trying to improve it every year. And as it is a big fair, many people coming. But in their program um, line, they need to have half of the, the program from Catalan arts, one fourth from Spain, and the other one fourth from other countries. So it makes little space for French or Dutch things or whatever. Because of the founding, I mean, they have uh, support from the government and the local government, so they need really to uh, promotion uh, the, the local artists. That's why they have the half of it on the, on the festival. Is it is quite difficult then to, to be part of this big fair. If you don't know them, if you don't have to the chance to see uh, to see them and see if they can really come to to see your show, but after a long time, so it takes really long time. This is for the beginning. Hmm. And what do you do in your daily work for the rest of the year when you're not here? I travel a lot. Travel a lot. And for a year, I'm. I'm I travel in, in Europe or um, overseas uh, to, to, to promotion and to accompany my, um, the different uh, companies I, I have. Um, half of the time I'm at the office, booking all the papers, contract, negotiation. But there is, for my, for my opinion, this job is made of both things. You mean you can't do it if you don't have the relation 
with, with the professionals and we will come to the festival to see them, to meet them, to know, uh, to, to know what's going on at their festival. So you need to, to be quite close to them. I think it's one part really important thing. But I know that some of my colleagues that don't, they don't travel, they stay home and they pick up the phone because they don't, well, they don't want to, and they work, it works. I mean, they have uh, good companies, uh, big tools. But um, I have a different feeling. I mean, uh, I want this part of uh, encounter people and makes a story. I'm not a producer, I don't have any money. Okay, so she comes to you and she just says, That's the point. I'm, yeah, well, we, when we met, was years ago, she was uh, with an um, agent, uh, a Spanish agent uh, from, from here. And she's been working with him for years. And after uh, a while, she decided she, she was tired. She wanted some, somebody else. So she contacted me because she knew me f from other people. And, and they say, oh, call Paco, he knows everybody. And uh, we, uh, we met, not for the first time, but we met for a business and facing together and say, OK, what's the condition? What do you want from me? Uh, where do you want to go? Uh, what do you, what you don't want? If you know, know what I mean, sometimes you, you have to really um, make this relation quite uh, clear with uh, with the artist because uh, it, it gets it, it's getting very confused after a while. So you have to make it clear from the beginning for the money matters, for the what she needs, and for what she doesn't want to. Because you're the first, you're the first line. If you if you book, uh, if you res yeah, if you answer to to, to booking a reservation and, and so. So and it can be really uh, risky if you don't if you're not in the line because of many things. So she came to me and we 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 talked and uh, we decided to work together. And if, if you, yeah, you're, uh, the, uh, you're doing the promotion, but she's quite known within the business and for quite a big audience. So that makes your work easier, I presume. <laughs> but you also have four, uh, how many artists do you have? Four, four companies four. and four. 10 projects. Okay. And they stay the same every year. Uh, it's a rolling thing. That you're selling it, you're selling the shows to the festivals all over the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. It depends on the on the project. I mean, uh, there are some really French projects I can't sell overseas, or except in North America. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's um, it's a rolling thing. But uh, what I need is to um, to have this uh, trust with uh, with the artist and try to, to work for a long time. Yeah. I don't do short mission. For example, to go to promotion to um, an artist uh, who I like, but I don't work with usually. And uh, he hires me for four days because uh, we're going to Aurillac and uh, they have to promotion the yeah. show during uh, Aurillac, for example. I don't do such things because I don't feel comfortable with okay. with the uh, with the idea and uh, the position. Yeah. Um, and how did you get into the, the the work? Because you have been doing it for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. How did you start? Oh, like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, for these students. <laughs> how do you start being a? Well, you. I started with uh, like. Um, like everybody, like uh, you start because you meet somebody who wants, uh, who needs uh, your help 
you don't know if you're going to be uh, to make it, but you try, and after a while you say, oh, okay, I like it. I should go on. I, I started, and it was a uh, uh, more than 12, 12 years ago, and I started really like uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that for my life, for the rest of my life. So let's do it. And half and half, uh, one and a half year later, I quit oh. because I was in in bad. Um, relations with the uh, artistic director mm. and I really quit I said slam the door say bye you won't see me again <laughs> but after a while uh, I came back to to the job with an other uh, company and and we worked for seven years okay. together and I am and I work with another company I've been working for them for eight years now so Claire is one of the latest it's just on one one year, uh, okay. but maybe we we go on for for years. Yes, I don't know. We we'll see. Excuse me. You're talking about street theater uh, festival in the world. Mm -hmm. Or is she also doing uh, uh, driving around in the theater? Oh, I mean, she's touring in, uh, yeah. inside, indoor. Yes, yeah. yeah, she has um, a piece uh, with her uh, partner and husband. Uh, it's called En Attendant l'Inattendu. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting the unexpected. Yeah, kind of, bec but it's really different, different fields. You have the indoor and outdoor market. It's really different. It's, it's really, um, you, have you have to work hard to, to get the two fields. I'm working on it. It, it will take years, I know. I've been working for, for years in street theater, I know that. I know kind of most most of the festival in, in, in France, Europe, and, and all over the world. But for, um, for this indoor market, it's really different. So I'm going to Avignon every year, <laughs> for example. During the year, I mean, during the summer, it would be very busy. And after the summer, like, if, if you're only doing like this, the street art festivals, and if during summer, it's Really, really crowded, like busy. Your schedule. Mm. And in the winter time, it's preparing for mm. the summer. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, we, I don't rest a lot. <laughs> 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 and also not the artists. Yeah, the artists they can rest uh, during the um, the winter period. Yeah. Especially in France, because we have the intermittent du spectacle. I don't know if you heard about this. Intermittent Spectacle is, um, is um, an unemployed program. When, you, when you're unemployed as an artist or technician, you can have um, um, support from, from the unemployment office. It gives you money every month to be able to work without having the, the dates or the tool. So you don't have to do anything else, like uh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be like uh, like in England uh, they have three three jobs. Um, in France, we have this privilege to to have this very specific unemployed. Uh, they have in Belgium too, and but it's not that um, it's not that e that easier and. But well, we, we, we can afford this. We can afford to be just on creation period while we, uh, while for street theater, for example, they, they can rest and they can yeah, create the other production for the next year or the, 
the year after. That's one of the privilege we can have, yeah. But still we work all year long. I mean, it's um, 24 hours a day, uh, seven, seven days a week job. You don't stop. You don't have the weekend break, like, no, I want, I want to answer the phone. I can answer the phone on the Sunday at night every, um, every day of the year. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. You have another festival to go to right after you have about. Which one? If I have another festival, I'm oh, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. uh, for Claire, she will be at the Merce, which is a, um, a big festival in Barcelona, uh, within uh, 15 days. Do you always travel with her? Not only. Well, as much as I can this year, because we started. As we start the collaboration, I like to be um, in contact with her and to be aware of what's going on on tour. Like just sharing the transport uh, in the in a van, <laughs> being like eight hours under the sun and driving makes the relation really real. Yeah. You know how it works because once once she arrives in a festival and they didn't prepare all the, everything, you have to deal with this. And you know later that if she has eight hours driving and she arrives and nothing is prepared, you can expect this. It can be, it can be pretty hard, so you have to really uh, be aware of this. Otherwise, the artist could be uh, really um, pissed and don't want to work or say, um, I'm too tired, I don't want to, to, to tour, I don't want to go this distance anymore. So. With, Make a, you have to really be aware of this. The, the rhythm is different. So what's the market like? We're in a crisis everywhere in the world, and, and in Spain it's very obvious, for us at least. Um, mm. Does it have an impact also for you as a, a marketeer? To, to, be, to be in, in Tarrega, mm -hmm. for example, Spain is different. I, I told you before, uh, there are a lot of festivals, but not at the uh, same level than here. Um, I, can, I could see three big festivals in, in, in Spain yeah. at the moment. And which are they? Um, first is May yeah. in Valladolid, okay. which, is, which, which appears to me that it's really a festival, it's not a fair. That, that means well, the difference is, um, is kind of slim, but it is different. Mm -hmm. And they offer good conditions to, to, to have a premiere or to, yeah, to display the show. Second should be Fiera Tarrega, the other one is La Merce yeah. in Barcelona as well. They are kind of big festivals, but you have Huesca, it's indoor outdoor festival. You have many in Spain, but um, the, the most important are the three, from my opinion. Because I, I, I talked to a few of the uh, producers yesterday, and, and they, they said, well, due to the crisis, actually street art has become more important, and there is a bigger market all of a sudden, because they want the small production. It's, it's cheaper, and... Uh, it's giving the small, small value for 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 the visitor uh, on the festival. Mm. Is that also something you have noticed? That it's easier to actually sell productions due to the crisis? No, it's contrary. Yeah, I was a bit surprised by by the comments. So I was. Um, yeah. No, I think it's really uh, the worst, the worst years we had for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Especially in France and Spain as well. And when I first came to Spain after, after the crisis, it was uh, last May in a, in a festival in a, um, Basque country. And I noticed the difference with the, the face of the people and the comments and when we talked. 
I was like, whoa, something happening here. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it was a bit worried uh, for, for the future. Um, and I know that a lot of people are, are employed here and uh, the, uh, the young people are coming out, going to France, mm. trying to settle in yeah. France, trying to find a, a job, which yeah. is really difficult for them because they have to change languages and culture. Yes. And they have a beautiful country <coughs> with a high quality of life and they have to, to, yeah. to leave this behind them and yeah. go somewhere else. And for the people here, uh, agents or uh, professionals, they have really to um, move their ass <laughs> to <laughs> to work. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, more than the past, <coughs> I, I, I believe. But that's why we we can see that many many companies want to take part uh, in a festivals like that. So there are many people, uh, like in Chalon dans la Rue as, as well. Every year, you know that the increasing number of of, um, no, of candidates mm -hmm. to apply to the off part, they pay for it. Huh? They pay, but they, they pay to go and to play and to display their show. Yeah. And the number is raising every year. Do you know how many how many artists are applying for a festival like this to just no. have a sort of a for Chalon? I know that's eight hundred companies. Eight hundred. And how many is on the... 150. Yeah, wow. It's a lot of competition. It's a luxury position. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So and they, and they once, you enter, once you enter this, this uh, market, maybe you can have the opportunity to take off and be, yeah. uh, be okay for um, a couple of years. But uh, as soon as your, the show is going to be a little bit old, you're going down again, and so you have to create, to renew the yeah. repertoire and create another thing. Yeah. And uh, I know for the past years, uh, you could have a, in the street, you could have shows that could, if they have success, obviously, but they could tour for years, yeah. like six, seven, eight, ten. Now I know it's more difficult, you have to renew. Every two, three years. Yeah, but that, so you, so you have to pay to stand in Chalon. Yeah. But all, all I see in Chalon has paid to stand there. They are not paid, but they pay to themselves. Uh, hmm. Except the in part, which I'm is 15, uh, 15 company. I'm going to start a festival like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the people pay me. No now they don't pay you. They pay for transport costs, for the accommodation, for food, for uh, technical support, for the cachet. Yeah. For okay. of the artists because they have to pay everybody. Yeah. You're, it's an obligation, legal obligation. So if you come, if you, even if you are paid for two hours, you have to be declared in the yeah. state. You have to be declared for two hours. Yes. Otherwise, if something happening, you have an accident and injured, yeah. you are not covered. Yeah. So it means that it takes, yeah, it takes money. Avignon is worse. For Avignon to, to, to for a company which is indoor market, but to do uh, Avignon and to go, to go to Avignon every year can can cost you 20,000 20, years, 20,000 euros a year. Yeah. And if you want to go uh, to Avignon and be like someone, you have to do like two or three years in a row. Yeah. Yeah. That makes 60,000 euros. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. But Avignon is different because you have to pay. The, you have to rent the, the theater, but the two hours schedule that you have for four weeks, yeah. and it costs you like uh, between eight uh, eight thousand to uh, some are really bigger, like uh, the double. Huh. So you went to the I go every year. Oh, you go every oh, yeah. Year. Just to watch to meet people too, because I work with another company. I work with the circus area um, field, and this circus is um, in a tent or indoor. So yeah, I'm going to try to find out how I can have my place 
in this uh, this market too. It's quite yeah. As I told you, it's, it's difficult. Are you, you're not standing there with the with the ads in our view. With the with the what? Pierre it wasn't in our view. No. And another show wasn't in our view. No. For, from but from. Because it's street theater market. In Avignon, it's not a street theater market. Avignon is indoor. What's, what's going on outside is really little. People think that because there are a lot of things going on in the street, it's the street theater festival. You don't, no, don't believe them. <laughs> it's, it, everything is happening inside, yeah. indoor. And the free riders are outside there. Yeah, it's a parade. They do, they do parade because they have to drag people inside. Yeah. It's the biggest festival in France. You have 1,000 companies this year, more than 1,000. Um, so you have more or less uh, 1,000 shows a day. So. <laughs> and you have to take the... the but sometimes you, you go into the very ba big festival like Avignon and say, yeah, it will be crowded and and, uh, and, and, and and finally have uh, two or three people in the in, in the theater when you when you act yeah. because many people goes to the same yeah. and they don't have any, any but they, they, uh, place for for the, to the little ones they're not um, famous and they're not uh, I thought recognized uh, I thought uh, Avignon was mainly in the French language yeah, um, mainly, yeah. Is, is there such a big market in France uh, that you can handle that? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's... Uh, yeah, the, the, in, the indoor market is really huge. Yeah. Mm. Just in France, it's very huge. But you have... Um, I know every year that you have Chinese delegation coming to Avignon, and yeah. they're like 80 of them, yeah. and they split all the show into... Everybody in this, as you see, all the programs <laughs> <laughs> with files. <laughs> and then they, they buy it and say, you, you yeah. want that and that and that. They're going to see everything. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I was wondering how much of the promotion of the artist is done by yourself and how much is done by you? Because we're using the internet and all with Facebook. Is it being used? Well, the, the web. The web 2.0 is something we can use, yes. And the Facebook, uh, Facebook is uh, is useful for fans. To be, I don't use it for for Claire, but I use it for another artist. It can be useful for fans and uh, you know close uh, people and people really wants to know what's going on. But for professional relation, I'm not sure it was it was a good tool. It's one tool you have, but you still have to to build your website and have something really professional. Facebook, f for me, appears to be like a bit amateur, not that professional. If you have to deal with, of course, you can do a blog and, and Facebook page and Twitter. I use, use uh, both of them, but I'm pretty sure a, web, a, a good website, professional website, is much more... Uh, convenient and, and useful for this kind of work. I use a website. I had a small um, form for formation training of um, website uh, building, so I know how, more or less how to do it. But uh, but yeah, Facebook is a plus, is a bonus. Let's say. And for Twitter. Uh, I'm kind of interested in this because I don't know yet how to use it for, I mean, for, I mean for, for shows like that. You can use it for series, for example, if you have a um, series of dates, a promotion in Paris or whatever. You can have uh, this, um, but how, how you get the followers? That's a, that's a question. Think about being relevant and sharing information or the progress of Sharing information like behind the scenes, like what's going on. Yeah, but you, you share the information to who? Uh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Which other? You you are talking with Twitter journalists here. Is they <laughs> yeah, that's why um, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> I think like every conversation, you need to start by listening, listening what it is the talk is about, what, what kind of interactions are happening, and then you start participating. Mm. But already, uh, already linked uh, the Facebook page with a uh, with a Twitter account, so I uh, know this can work. But I haven't seen um, a really um, relevant uh, uh, level. You know, there's no progression. You can buy followers on eBay. <laughs> 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 I will think about it. <laughs> Ten euros for twenty thousand followers. But it's not real. But you can. Yeah. But it looks the, the number of followers will be high, but they're not relevant. Okay. If you want to cheat the uh, Mike Gibraltar, then we buy for 20 euros all these followers, and we can we say, look, this is what we have tweeted, and we have 20 thousand. Both time again. Yeah. I will tell Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Shows that you have are for free at street festivals. Somebody has to pay somewhere. Yeah, but how? Like where? <laughs> <laughs> if the street theater market is really special because uh, you, yeah, it seems it's free, but it's not free. It's taxes. Everybody pays. I mean, when you're in a in a in a city, you pay for the theater, for the, the local taxes. And the state taxes, a little part of it, come to the theater. And it's the same for the festivals. In France, we have this public um, support, which is for street theater very low. It's, uh, I think it's less than 2% two, two of, the, of the whole budget of the Ministry of Culture for street arts. Two percent, as uh, and another figures could be like uh, thirty percent of uh, French uh, people have seen in the last year one show at least. Thirty percent, huge percentage, because when you you have to this to put this in relation with uh, the percentage for theater, for example, and for theater it's less than ten percent. And for opera, it's less than 3%. And opera is a huge amount of money for 3% of people. That means 97% of French haven't seen an opera piece. And this is why the public sh um, service and the money goes. And the festival works the same. But you work with um, subsidies from the state, local region, City, cities in France are like one third of the of the budget of the cultural budget. They um, they are the biggest. All the cities all the cities put more than the state, which is normal because. Of then the financial situation now must have a very large impact on. Like there aren't that many subsidies, so. The impact on the economic uh, situation, uh, local economy, um, is yeah. We know these figures, like for example, for one euros, the public uh, service put, you know, it's seven euros coming, coming out, seven euros from hotel, um, restaurants, gasoline. And all the stuff. It's an accelerator. Yeah, it's a, you, you can invest in, in culture and festival because it, it always be like a, a plus, a profit thing. But we don't have the profit. Every profit for 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 instance, you go to. A, we had in 2003 a strike, a big strike uh, in France. Avignon stopped. Uh, lots of festivals were cancelled because. 
uh, the, the artists were on strike. They say, we don't want to work anymore. And say, what? It's impossible. <laughs> Who said that? The shop tenders. They, have, they had all the um, season just in a f f four days, and half of it is a budget for the, for the, I mean, it's not the budget, it's the, um, the money they can make. I can't, I can't tell, I can't remember the name. The money they can make in a year, they, they, in just in four or five days, they do a half of it for certain festivals. So to quit, to, to cancel a festival is just like, what? Impossible, you can't do that. Yes, we can. Look. And this is one power we could have, and we didn't imagine at this time that we have this power. But uh, I think we misused it after a while. But still, we, we know this story because some, some, some um, uh, shop tenders, they, they try to sue the, 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 the artist and technician that canceled. Sue them. Yeah, try it. <laughs> I, I have one question that I uh, actually should ask to, uh, to Claire, but you are more than eight hours in the car with her, so you probably know. Uh, I, I was amazed by uh, the interaction she had with people. And when, when you go to a circus, circus or something like that normally, I always think that's the, the son and that's the nephew and that's the uncle, so uh, it's prepared. But I think she is doing it with people just from the audience. Mm -hmm. But isn't that very tricky? Uh, I, w I was just just wondering <laughs> because every time she takes somebody uh, from the audience, it works. No, no. But when I was there, it mm. worked. <laughs> Not every time, of course. But yeah, very often. Yeah. But you have to know uh, to smell it. If you this no, this one no, too young, um, too shy, uh, too big. So while while working already, mm. she's also having the computer going. That one not. Yeah, she yeah. Can do one. No, no. Yeah. Like that. That's why she can't do it uh, in a in a in a theater with the lights, because she no. can't see people. No. It's I can understand that. Yeah. Once she has a for an, for example nighttime gigs. She has to really have a general wash, that we call general wash, on the audience and her. If she sh can't see the people, she can't do it properly. She will do it like at random, which is kind of risky. Yeah. But still, if, if, there is a, if someone refused to come, it's okay. You know, yeah. She won't force him. No. And after, uh, if sh she told me yesterday, because the, the one refused, the, the little girl, uh, at the beginning, she refused to, to come back. She, she went and then she, she didn't want to go. And she, she said, okay, so this is one tricky situation because usually she told me af afterwards, usually if the first little girl refused, they all will refuse yeah. without exception. Yeah. So yeah. She, ha she doesn't, yeah. she, she, she have to go and take the hand and take somebody. Yeah. And it works. But the, the, this, this is not that um, fluent. No. You have to really go and, okay, I'll take you. Yeah. And you're the chosen one. Yeah. So That's a tricky thing, which is yeah. very good at it. <laughs> but it doesn't, yeah, as I, as I told you, it doesn't uh, appear often, but sometimes, yeah. Refuse, yeah. Um, sometimes I so refuse because too shy. You can see what she's doing with her, her face. I was, I was doing a bit tricky yesterday. You, you have this, this uh, uh, black fence mm -hmm. uh, behind her, mm -hmm. and there is a room like this uh, behind it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never like to sit, so I always walk around. And then I was behind, and I went <laughs> with my eye, and I, I, I could see the face of Claire uh, at that distance with, uh, with the sculpture. And, mm -hmm. and then you can see how, how it, it's working. It was amazing, <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> we all should stand behind the or stage. Or maybe it yeah. now, now I've told it, they are making the, the fence better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was really nice to see how she sees every uh, single muscle in the face is moving, 
the way she did the, the whole thing. It's so nice. So uh, go, go, go behind and find this little... Uh, <laughs> or just sit very close. Then you yeah, are the closest. In the first row. Yeah, the first rows are the <laughs> best. Yeah. This For this situation, yeah. The first rows are really the best place. Yeah. So you can really uh, live yeah. with her, what's going on. Yes. It's always better to be on the first. No, it was, was really, uh, even though I was standing and not so close in front, uh, it was touchy. And uh, I, I've never seen somebody who, who can dance and have interaction and, and bring so much emotion in it. Huh? It was, was really uh, amazing. We, we, we twitted about it, uh, master in uh, dance, uh, interaction, and emotion. Mm. And uh, that's her. That's her. That's her work. Yes. Yeah. She works like that. Is it amazing to choose your act? Is it just a gut feeling, or is it that you are choosing in a certain way and, and such that? Choose my what? Yeah. If you're promoting an yeah. act, you are choosing the project, you're choosing the artist, you're yeah. choosing people to work with. Mm. What is for you the reason to work with somebody? Is it that they are coming to you, or is it that you are? Mm. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, sometimes just like uh, meeting people. Because I can imagine <coughs> people want you to promote them, but they're usually, okay, it's not good enough, or mm. what is the reason to, yeah. It's like promoting music, for example. Why are you choosing that music? Because mm. you think it's good music, but you cannot explain why you think it's good. Mm. Is it for you just uh, the people that you're working with, or? Mm. Yeah. First, yeah. First thing is the relation. Second, second thing is the artistic. And and third thing would be like the money. Yesterday you told uh, a nice coincidence uh, when you were uh, choosing for Claire to promote her. Um, you decided when you found out that you were born on the same yeah. uh, day. As I told you, it's a relation. You, you you sit, you you talk with somebody, you and you know, okay, what could be the, the interest for you and interest for me to, to work together? And after a while, we we talk about other things. And after a while, we say, oh, I was born on the eighth of May. Oh, me too. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Sign. <laughs> this is a sign. I believe in signs. Yep. Mm. And we have promised you some breakfast, actually. Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> if you're still, uh, uh, of course, love. And we have a very small gift oh, thank you. for you. <laughs> what is thank it? Thank you very much. Well, you have to open it to find out. Okay. That's uh, often a good trick. It's a tricky one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you. I can, I can do it now? Much. Yes, you. Okay. First thing. <laughs> yeah, because I also should explain a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. And then you have Music to box. You have to place them on wood, and then it makes a lot of sound. And this is a sound system that you put in your laptop, uh, okay. iPad, uh, whatever. Uh, you can load it with a USB. Yeah. And then you put it on a, a wooden table. Yeah. And then the table is the speaker. Or actually, on any material, if you put it, but any, any surface. It, it uh, yes. So wow. So depending what kind of surface you have, the you can get more or less. Impressive. But, but if you put it on this table, then also the, the cup and the plate is making sound. So you have to find out where... You have this at home? You're yes. having fun with this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I want to see the wire. We can yeah, it could fit with mine. It has, it has to be uh, loaded. Uh, okay. Good when you're bit. traveling so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'm touched, really. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Would you like another coffee? No, I got to go, I think. Yes? Yeah, really. Can we make a, a, a 
bag with, with food for <laughs> you. <laughs> I will take one of his sandwich uh, on, yes. on my way. It's okay. Yes, you know, yes. during festival, don't eat a lot. Okay. Too pressure. Say hello to Claire. Okay. Yeah, I will. Um, Definitely. And, and thank you. Thank you, Sky, uh, for your welcoming uh, we presentation and questions. I love. Uh, I really love to to have this uh, uh, meeting with you. It's uh, nice to talk about what 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 I do. It, this is not that common. <laughs> so maybe we should invite you for 